fun facts that you might have not known. Hey, what's going on everyone? One Dr. Genius here, and here's some Prodigy fun facts. Right, number one, as you guys can see, around Prodigy, in certain areas such as Firefly Forest, and Shiver Chill Mountain, what you guys will notice is there's some items which you guys can collect, right? In Firefly Forest, you guys will notice that you can collect fireflies, and if you go to our items over here, as you can see, you can collect fireflies. But do you know that once you collect a firefly, and you click on this firefly guy, you can actually turn them in, and the more fireflies which you have collected and turned in, he will give you different rewards specially based on that, and if you turn in 99 fireflies, what will happen is you'll be given bee armor or something like that. That sounds pretty cool, I mean, you can turn into bee in-game, but buzz buzz that's pretty cool on top of that in shiver chill mountain the thing is that they use ice crystals ice crystals are life in shiver chill mountain basically you can find them anywhere while roaming around in shiver chill mountain you have to melt you can't find them anywhere for ice crystals the thing which you guys need is frozen something blocks right so as you guys can see if you have yourself frozen something blocks well then the next thing which you need to do is you just need to melt them in the furnace and when you melt them in the furnace what you guys will see is you get yourself the crystals so yeah let me just quickly show you this right as you can see what you'd have to do is you teleport over here go over here and then you could just have to search around you'll find them lying around somewhere anywhere let's go over here up over here as you can see, you can click on the furnace over here, and it will throw in the block, and out will come a tin can. That's useless. Okay. Right, as you can see, there's a frozen something block over there. That is pretty cool. Let me just quickly get it. And now, the next thing which I have to say is that these merchants over here in Pudgy take actually a lot, and I mean a lot of thin areas currency to actually buy everything out of their stock. As you guys can see over here, I have nearly everything bought out from this guy's stock. As you can see, it's all the way down here. The only thing pestering me is this frosty bear, so it takes quite a lot. Now, another thing which you might have noticed is that Newt has appeared over here. This is just a fun fact. They seem to have gotten Newt to tell you your quest goal, and if you've completed the main quest in an area, it basically tells you to go get off your butt and head to Harmonia Island to do some work. That's what it says. Another fun fact is that there is only one Astral Relic Ring in-game, and on top of that, the only Astral Relic Ring in-game can only be obtained by Harmony Island during the final trial. Right? And as you can see, the spell which it has is the Ray of the Ancient. On top of that, there's not a single... And another thing which you guys might not have known is that there are only three wands. And another thing which you guys might not have known is that there's some wands in Prodigy which don't have their spell, which means that basically for these wands, what happens is that the wizard spell doesn't work. Now, fun fact, the diamond wand which you actually buy does not have it in. Like, you can't just eat and cast it. On top of that, these ox wands, everything else has it, but the birch wand doesn't. Pachi actually has two very similar wands, the training wand and the birch wand. Both of them are basically equal, like they all have a power bonus of 5, that's interesting. Everything else other than these few wands actually does have spells which you can cast. Oh yeah, okay, over here the magi wand also casts the power bonus of 5. It's interesting, they have no spells attached with them. Another thing which you might not have known is that the Ice Dragon Tooth Crown was available in-game only for a short limited time before it was removed off the shelves and only just recently got added back into Podgy with the addition of Crystal Caverns. That's right, this Ice Dragon Tooth Crown, which used to be once upon a time an overpowered weapon along with this along with this cactus cranium used to be fun fact this cactus helmet over here used to actually deal additional damage which was at 30 additional damage but that's what what translates to approximately five additional damage but now it's been turned into a healing bonus item by prodigy because too many players probably had it second thing the ice dragon tooth crown which has been uh, which has been made available to prodigy players with the addition of Crystal Caverns actually was un an unavailable exclusive item only to people who had bought it during, well, Starlight Festival. Fun fact, Starlight Festival is actually a festival to celebrate the addition of new epic dragons into Prodigy because they probably needed money or something. I don't know why they would do that. But anyways, if you look over here at the Ice Dragon Tooth Crown, The Ice Dragon, why was I searching for when I'm literally wearing it? The Ice Dragon Tooth Crown has a power bonus of 5. Fun fact, um, legendary items are no longer as rare as they seem because you literally get them from the arena, but okay. 
Okay, another fun fact is that once upon a time, this single pet, right? Guys, once upon a time, these two pets over here, the Paratol and the Paratox, were the best pets in Prodigy because they could cast Astral spells, right? That's right, they could cast spells which would deal the same amount of damage no matter which opponent they face. This means that these were the only two pets who had the potential to be strong against Shadow. But unfortunately, Prodigy removed their Astral spells, meaning these guys can no longer cast the spell of Wizards. Otherwise, they were extremely strong and pretty good. Also, I forgot to mention this, but the evolution level is actually written on the, anim on the animal pet book, like telling you at what level they level up. Also, the maximum amount of pets which you can have in Prodigy at the current moment is 161. As of right now, these last two pets over here, which have been added to our pet book, have not been released or haven't been found yet, which I still intend on catching. Another thing which you might not know is that for bounties, you only need to get 100 bounties to get everything in the bounty store. But that won't exactly be necessary. In our rewards tab, as you guys can see, Prodigy's actually added a new feature where you guys can claim rewards if you do some of these. As you can see, at the current moment, the Academy is the only one from which you can claim rewards, but soon it might spread to other parts of it. And by far, one of the hardest tasks to complete in Prodigy is to collect 1 million coin coins and spend 1 million coins. That's um, pretty hard if you guys ask me. On top of that, badges actually measure your progress in whichever grade you're solving. As you guys can see, you'll see the badges of the grades which you have completed before and then the badges of the grades which you're doing or well yeah. Also, you also, it's actually pretty hard to get over a thousand skills mastered, I must say. In fact, you can actually dance in Prodigy by clicking on these things over here. Like, I legit forgot what this thing did or how to access it. Like, do you remember this? Do you remember- uh, Do you guys actually remember this where you guys can, like, spam these things over here? Like, do -do 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 -do. And not only that, but that- Oh uh, yeah, that's actually pretty old. Another fun fact. Oh yeah, guys, another fun fact is that if you look at Bok, as you guys can see, he's holding a cup of hot cocoa. But what it used to be is that Bok would hold a cigar in his hand. He literally had like a smoking pipe in his hand, but Prodigy decided to change that. Right, yeah, I don't know how many of you guys knew that or noticed that, but that was pretty crazy when it was in-game, right? Yeah, that's one thing which you guys probably never noticed. Another thing, housing prices in Prodigy still haven't gone up despite it being 10 years. Meanwhile, in the real planet, housing prices have gone straight through the roof. Under certain countries. In certain countries. Also, the Titan is apparently at 75% health, but to be honest, I feel like Prodigy is kind of getting desperate to have people attack the Titan. I mean, it's health didn't even reduce below 75 but anyways that's all for today's episode of random prodigy facts which you guys probably didn't know anyways guys i hope you guys were able to find out some facts which you had absolutely no clue of and if you did please do hit that subscribe button turn that notification bell and give this video a humongous thumbs up if you guys haven't already i'll be catching you all next time one doctor genius out the house bye and have a good time at the current moment i'm gonna hide behind this titan dun dun dun, dun.